Hi, I'm Jeremy with Practical IT, and welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to take a look at setting up shared folders and setting permissions in Open Media Vault. Let's get started. All right, so I've got basically a clean install. I've got one disk showing, which is my install disk, and we're going to go ahead and set up the RAID for this demo. Um, actually, we've got the RAID set up here. And file systems, create select device, our read. Big store demo. Yes, we're going to format. It's online, but not mounted. So we select that and we say mount. Okay. And apply. Yes. Okay. Reference. No. Mounted. Yes. Online. Yes. Okay. So let me pull up my document. All right. So right now we have, if we go under shared folders, we have no shared folders. And also, if we look at our dashboard, we can see that SMB and SIFS is not enabled or running. And one more thing, we've got a few users set up, Billy, Bobby, Jimmy, Joey, Peter, and Tammy. And we've got groups, HR, management, and research and dev. So we're gonna start off simple and do folders or shares for each of the users. So we'll go to shared folders and we'll do add and Billy device. We'll select our RAID device and we'll say save. And then we'll continue through Bobby. Again, RAID device. Jimmy. Joey Peter and Tammy and apply. Yes. Okay, so all is good. We've got our users all added. In order to get them to be referenced, we need to go to SMB SIFs and go to shares and add them. Select folder. You don't add new with the plus. You just select existing and you go through and we'll just take the defaults at this point. And we will go through for each of them. Billy, Bobby, Jimmy, Joey, Peter, and Tammy. And apply. Yes. Okay, so now they have been created and they are referenced. So we want to go back to shared folders and they are indeed showing up as referenced here. And we can start setting permissions. We go to privileges and we want Billy to have access, but we don't want 
want Billy to have access but nobody else and we're going to just do by user not bring the groups into this at this point uh, and save and same thing for the others modifying which user you're giving permissions to and which user you're denying Okay, so the thing to remember here is that your privileges are basically at a level higher than your ACLs. Your privileges are more on the share level and ACLs you would do more on your file and folder level. So, uh, let's switch over to our Windows machine here and look at the look at what we get at this point so my computers Acer Rally Okay, so we come here and we do 172, 16, 74, 145 slash Billy. And doesn't like us yet. So let's minimize that. We'll jump back over here. Um, and we miss, I missed one thing here. We still did not turn on our SIFS SMB. We'll save that and apply it. And then we'll jump back to our Windows machine. So, do Billy. And we've got Billy's folder. And we can, in fact, create a new folder in here called test. And we are good to go. But if we try to go while we're logged in as Billy, Billy, it's not going to give us access to Bobby's folder. So that functionality is working as we are expecting it. So let's jump back to our Open Media Vault. Okay, so we've got three groups that we've made. HR, Management, Research, and Dev. So we need to edit those first. And we'll add Billy and Bobby to HR. We will add Jimmy and Joey to management and we'll add Peter and Tammy to research and dev. Okay, so if we come back to our shared folders We're going to add HR We're going to add management And we're going to add research and dev 
and apply. Okay, we clicked apply. We'll go ahead and say yes. And now we've got our HR management and research and dev um, folders built but not referenced. We have to go to shared folders and repeat the process. Uh, oops, I mean we need to go to shares and repeat the process that we did for all the other folders. So we're going to select HR and save. We'll add management and save. And we'll add Let's try this again. Apply our configuration change. Yes. Okay, so we've got our SMB SIFs enabled and running. We've got shared folders for all of our users. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, we need to go back to SMB SIFs and the HR management. We need to add research and dev right there and save and apply. Okay. Come back to our shared folders and we set privileges on each of the folders. So all of our users are at least in one group. So for HR, we're going to set HR has read write, management, research, and dev have no access. And follow suit with the other two management read write hr and research and dev have nothing and then research and dev and apply So now we will jump back over to our Windows machine and we will go back to our main. And so you can see all of the folders. Uh, we know Billy has access to the Billy folder but does he have access to HR? Yes, he does. If we come back, does he have access to management? No. We try to enter his credentials. It does not allow us. Access is denied. Likewise, research and dev, same thing. If we try to access the other user folders, we're going to get the same thing. Okay, so at this point, we have successfully implemented user shares as well as shares based on group permissions. The only thing that we could do further, and this would come in a separate video, the only thing we could do further is to try to go even more granular and set it up so that when Billy is logged in, Billy is only going to see the resources that he can actually log into. So Billy would not see Bobby, Jimmy, Joey, Peter, Tammy, or management or research and dev. 
that is the next level granularity that we will save for the next video and go from there. Hopefully you've all found this helpful. Uh, setting up permissions can be a little bit tricky on a Linux-based system such as Open Media Vault. It either takes a little bit of research or a little bit more perseverance to observe how things work and learn from what you have observed and implement accordingly. On that note, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified about future videos. As always, you can leave comments below and suggestions for future videos. For the Practical IT channel, this is Jeremy signing out. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.